Hi guys, Andy Glass here, WorkshopAddict.com. Today I'm bringing you the latest Woodpecker's one-time tool. That is the Dado Setup Fixture, or DSF, and the Gap Gauge and Mini Gap Gauge. Now I've got a kit available here, you can purchase these components separately, but again, this is a one-time tool. You need to pre-order by April 3rd, 2017, and the expected delivery date is July 2017. Included with this kit is a Dado Setup Fixture, two 3 8 inch locating pins, two MFT bushings, a gap gauge, and a mini gap gauge. Being the gap gauges are the first step in the dado setup fixture process, let's go ahead and take a look at those first. The Woodpecker's gap gauges, I have two of them here. One is their uh, traditional gap gauge and the other is their mini gap gauge. These are relative dimensioning devices similar to calipers. On one end you have an OD, uh, or outside dimension uh, measuring system, and the other end you have these fingers for an ID or inside dimensioning. Basically on the uh, OD, you you'd want to wrap it around the thickness of your material, uh, loosen it with the neural knob on top, and then uh, gently squeeze it together over your material and then tighten that knob. On the other end for the ID where these fingers are, if you want to stick it inside a uh, dado, a groove, uh, a mortise, anything where you need to get, measure the inside of that um, uh, opening to set up a dado here in the future, you simply, simply do the same thing. Loosen the knurled knob, um, slide it inside the open mortise, and then get the ID. Now, Coincidentally, the ID and the OD will be matched up similarly, so if you do take an ID, you're able to use the um, OD or this outside here and set up your dado stack fixture, which we'll do in a little bit. Um, both have imperial and metric uh, scales on them in their white laser engraving on the traditional woodpecker's red. Um, same thing with the mini gap gauge. It's just a little bit smaller, has three fingers here on the ID side of it has a nice knurled knob to lock it in place. Um, this is meant for your tool pouch, things that you'd want to use every single day. Let's take a closer look at the DSF or Dado Setup Fixture. This is the main component that's included with this kit. It's made from a single piece of aluminum. It's anodized the Woodpecker's traditional red with their signature white laser engraving. Now this uh, unit has three ways of clamping itself uh, to whatever you'd like. One, you can set it up in your woodworking vise or if you dare your uh, traditional metalworking vise uh, utilizing these two stepped uh, portions on the long side of the unit. Uh, there's two holes that are strategically spaced apart um, that can be used with the th included 3 8 inch alignment pins in any two holes that you drill on any work surface, your workbench, your outfeed table, your table saw support wings like I did here, which we'll get to in a little bit. And the third final option is you can mount it to your uh, MFT. Now that's the reason they're uh, spaced so specifically is it needs to match the hole spacings on the MFT uh, tables. Now you need to use the uh, bushings for that. You place these bushings inside the table uh, holes and then you need to use the 3 8 inch uh, alignment pins inside those bushings and it's locked up ready to go. Now being I have all my table saw accessories and blades located at my knees here on the right side of my table saw in this nice neat little storage cabinet, I wanted this unit next to my table saw. Now, all I have to do is drill two holes and I use the DSF as the alignment holes um, using a brad point bit. I poked a hole, drilled that hole, used the alignment pin and then used the brad point bit again to line up the mark to drill my second hole and they perfectly matched. I had to ream out a little bit um, as my holes weren't perfectly straight up and down so a little bit of, of gap um, provided a little tolerance to get those in. The unit may cup up and down, but the alignment pins are there just to keep it twisting. So when you apply pressure to the uh, two-step knurled knob, you have a leverage to work against and the bottom base is not going to twist on you. Speaking of the knurled knob, again, it's two-step. It has knurl on both steps and there's a brawn uh, nut bushing in there that uh, in con combination with the threads here on the post in the main fixture, it goes up and down very, very smooth. With a simple flick of your fingers, it can it can run this knob up and down the entire length of that threaded, pro threaded rod, absolutely no problem. So that saves a ton of time. On the base of the unit is a bronze 5 8 inch arbor, which matches uh, the arbor size here in the United States. Um, and it'll protect your uh, blades and won't damage them as well. 
The Arbor size can handle a dado stack up to 15 16 inches thick. Using the dado setup fixture is very, very simple. You simply take the gap gauge and you measure your material or you measure your dado width or your mortise. And once you have this jig set up, you then grab your uh, DSF in whatever mounting fixture you have it in. You remove the knob and you place all your dado stacks on top and you try to get it as close as you can. Now instead of removing and adding and making test cuts, everything is right here in front of you. I made a uh, test dado stack here for the very first time using this jig on some three quarter inch MF or, uh, uh, MDF. Now I understand this is exactly three quarter inch but you'll find that my fit was just a hair looser than three quarter inch. That's where I wanted it and with the help of the gap gauge I could take um, this setup and I could go back and forth multiple times with different chippers, different uh, shims on there to get the exact match I need. So you take the open end of your, uh, your gap gauge and then you just simply place it on and off of your uh, dado stack here once it's on the DSF. Now the beauty of it with the large knurled knob you can generate enough pressure to squeeze your uh, dado stack nice and tight just like it would be on the arbor. So that's exactly what it's going to be on your table saw. Now if this gap is too loose and there's uh, wiggle room in there your dado is going to be too wide. If you can't stick your gap gauge over your dado, it's going to be too small and your boards will not fit. Uh, when I started building the dado uh, stack, it was way too large. I dialed it back, I removed a chipper. Then I found out that um, I needed to add just a little bit more because the gap gauge wouldn't fit on my dado stack. So what did I do? I added a couple shims and dialed that in. The amount of times that I would have to make a test cut without the DSF would have been brutal. Um, how easy this uh, two-step knob comes on and off, this process was very, very simple. Well guys, I gotta be honest, uh, when woodpeckers release the DSF or dado setup fixture, I watched their videos, I read about the tool, uh, knowing that we are gonna have a demo unit here in the shop, I, I just really wasn't fired up about it. I didn't see the benefit. I thought it was a kind of a gimmicky tool, to be honest with you. Um, we got it in the shop here. We used it to set up a couple joints right away. Um, and I tell you what guys, I was thoroughly shocked. Uh, of course you're gonna get the woodpeckers quality, the woodpeckers um, built uh, precision and things like that, that's to be expected. But to have a tool do the job uh, and to do it right is one thing. And another is if you need it. Now you guys are the only ones out there that can justify if you need a tool or not. Um, but I can tell you uh, with my dado stack history of making dados and that whole traditional process compared to the DSF fixture, this is light years faster than making test cuts. I made, uh, what is it, six or seven, I don't remember what I did, six or seven adjustments to the dado stack in a fraction of a second. It, it's very fast to uh, unscrew and screw this knob back on compared to unplugging your saw, taking all this apart, taking your nut off, finding your wrenches, blah, 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 blah. So this thing saves time. Time is money. Time is enjoyment here in my woodworking shop. Now again, you guys could probably make some homemade jigs at a fraction of the cost. Uh, that is completely up to you. But if you're someone that makes dados often, whether they're the same dados every single time, or you're someone that doesn't make dados often but doesn't want to go through the tedious process of setting up a dado for odd size uh, dado stacks, uh, the DSF could be right for you. Thanks for watching this video on the latest Woodpeckers One Time Tool, the Dado Setup Fixture and Gap Gauges. The order deadline is April 3rd, 2017 with an estimated delivery date of July 2017. We encourage you to follow us on social media so you don't miss any product updates, project updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. Subscribe to us here on YouTube so you don't miss any more Woodpeckers One Time Tool. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.